turning up the exposure so bright that my skin looks kind of okay. A novel by Mira Stikes. And we'll bring, and we'll bring everything. And we'll bring, and we'll bring. Hello, hello, Vogels. Welcome to week two. I will be your host for today. It's Monday. Well, actually, it's Sunday, but let's pretend it's Monday. I've been here in lovely London since uh, Friday, and it is spectacular. It's been 25 to 28 degrees every day, which to you American people is really hot. And to put that into perspective, it's hot enough for me to wear shorts, which is pretty darn hot because I hate shorts. Congratulations to everybody on surviving week one. I'm very proud of all of you, especially you, Sarah, for being the only person who didn't break any rules. As to everyone else, high five for breaking the rules because that's what the rules are there for, to be broken. There's a lot of people looking at me right now. Actually, on second thoughts, Jimmy, you might not have broken any rules, but I don't know because I have very limited Wi-Fi connection here, so I don't know. Hopefully my Wi-Fi connection will get better throughout the week, therefore I'll be able to post this video on time on Monday, but I'm not actually that sure. I've only been here for a couple of days, but so far I've had some fantastic food and seen some lovely sights, which I might show you at some stage in the video. However, this week's topic is a childhood story which I'm to tell you about. This is a story that took place in Dallas, Texas when I was staying there for a while with my family. I was also staying with my cousin Steve, who you might have seen in some of my main channel videos. I must have been seven about at the time. It took place in a water park on a ridiculously hot day uh, when everyone was just about melting and there was this big massive slide it was the biggest out of all of them and to get up it you had to go up this like spiral staircase block thing that was like like this you had to go all the way up it and we were queuing there for about 45 minutes to an hour so when we were about maybe three quarters of the way up um, we were bored out of our minds because being seven year olds we didn't even have like our Game Boy Colors or Advances. Wait, which one was it at that stage? I'd say it was probably Advances, yes. Well, next thing we hear all of the shouting from up ahead and we're like, oh, something is happening. This sounds exciting. What could it possibly be? And all these people are like, yeah, let's make it get all the way to the bottom. And we were like, oh, cool. What, what, make get all the way to the bottom? That was English. So then it turns out that there was like some water that was coming down the steps like one by one uh, and all the kids were like you know like touching it along to like push it over the step and they thought that if it would go all the way from the very top of this huge slide thing uh, all the way to the bottom then this would be cool somehow so my cousin and my brother got down and started pushing this water along uh, Clearly the water wouldn't have gone that far because like it would have evaporated in the ridiculous heat. And my father goes, wait, don't touch the water. Uh, and long story short, be quiet bird. Long story short, it was pee the whole time. Uh, and someone had been queuing for so long, they couldn't help themselves and they peed uh, at the top of the slide. And it came down the whole steps and everybody touched it. And that's the end of the story. But it's a story that I think about every day for some reason. Uh, mainly because the moral of the story is don't pee on a water slide. So that's my story. I hope you enjoyed that story because it's kind of hard to tell but it was, uh, it was a very strange experience. Later on today I'm gonna go and see the David Bowie exhibition in the V and A which is gonna be fantastic because it's like all of his outfits since maybe the 60s on display uh, and I'm a big David Bowie fan so it'll be really super cool I hope. And hey, Matt Smith turned up there like a few days ago so who knows who, who I'll find. Here's to hoping that Emma Stone is a big David Bowie fan. <laughs> if I can include shots from there I will at the end but I'm not sure if I'm able to film there yet because they only allow 150 people in a day so it's pretty exclusive and I'm not even sure if I'm gonna get in yet. Okay, uh, so that was probably a bit of a short video, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you have a cool day and a fantastic week. Thank you to all the lovely people who've been been on this channel. Uh, in the last week, your videos were all fantastic. Sarah and May, I was laughing so hard at your videos. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Last week, we were at about 97 when I posted my video on Monday, and I was like, hey, we're nearly at uh, 100, and now we're at like 100 and... 12 or something crazy like that so that's our goal really that's what we want to do we just want to make videos that you guys enjoy and make friends in the process and I think it's fair to say that we've been ticking both of the boxes with this project yeah that is all I love you guys lots Christy I will be seeing you tomorrow hopefully and uh, yeah that is all bye